Okay, this is my current ride. It's a it's a 100 inch uh, custom bike with a 100 inch motor, I should say. And the problem was that the uh, previous owner was having problems uh, uh, running for any amount of time. Um, he took it to six different bike shops here in uh, Fort Lauderdale and Hollywood area. Spent over seven thousand dollars, and uh, yeah, he configured a lot of different things and changed a lot of different things, made it look beautiful. And he still had problems with uh, keeping the thing running. So they rebuilt his carbs, they changed the timing, they did all kinds of crazy things, rewiring different magnetos, different ignitions, this and that. And you know, I got the bike. I bought the bike because um, he was just fed up with it. And here's what I found. In in Harley's, uh, when they change the electronic ignitions uh, sometimes, what they do is they put the module right inside the nose cone of the engine right here, which is right next to the exhaust. Now, the engine gets hot enough the way it is, and then you add the exhaust to that, and this cone gets very hot. And what you have here is the whole electronic ignition pack. Now, this is a, a very good company. Uh, makes a beautiful product, but not for engines that have been hopped up. If you have an engine that runs very, very hot, like this particular engine here, is a high output, high compression engine, and when you put these modules inside the cone, they tend to go bad because they overheat. Um, you notice on this particular engine, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got decompress buttons for the compression. When you first start the engine, it's got so much compression that it'll break it'll wreck your starter uh, after you do it. So you gotta compress both sides of uh, of the little decompression buttons. You push those in before you start. So basically, what you do is the same company twin pack makes uh or twin tech i should say makes a module like this but it's exact same thing but it's external so what you do is you basically get an uh an evil engine um uh, pickup and you install that in here the sensor the sensor for uh for the crank and and then you run the wires through and then what you do is you put a module similar to this one only except it's a small square one and you can mount it up behind the seat uh, in the battery back where it stays cool. And you'll never have any problems again. And uh, that's where we're at right now. I just ordered the, uh, um, I just ordered the, the uh, electronic ignition from the company. And, and it should be here in the next couple of days. We'll stick it in. This thing is going to be running uh, like uh, brand new. And it should be running. It should be extremely dependable. And it should be running for a very long time. Uh, that was probably the main problem with these engines is the heat. They can't stand idling, especially if you're in Florida. Uh, they, they like to be moving and like to get the fins getting air in them. There's just not enough uh, fins here to, um, they're not large enough to, to really um, get things uh, cooled. And then with the addition of, of the pipes going right close to this nose cone, it adds a lot of heat. So you, you need to get rid of that thing and mount it somewhere else. Um, what I'm going to do in this particular engine, I'm going to get two um, oil coolers. And now the oil coolers, they mount here on the, on the frame. You get two vertical oil coolers, and they provide a lot more cooling, so the engine will be a lot more dependable. And, uh, and this, this, this thing should be able to ride for uh, a very long time. A lot of fun with it. So that's my scoop on the electronics.